Hey YouTube, I'm out here today, out here on the soccer field. One of those places where you don't want to get caught uh, damaging the sod, so what I'm going to do today is show you a technique for pulling those coins and jewelry out of the turf without any damage, without digging a plug. Most of the uh, videos I see on YouTube these days are demonstrating uh, pulling coins out of the ground by digging a plug, sometimes very deep in an area where uh, the coins aren't even likely to be that deep. So if you're in an area where the coins are likely to be close to the surface, as much as three inches down, then you can use this technique. I hope you find it helpful. Okay, so now I have uh, found what my machine says is a quarter here. 85 is the numerical value for a quarter on this particular machine. I'm going to pinpoint with my coil as closely as I can. Okay, so the coin should be right dead center in the middle of my machine, basically where the rod connects to the coil. I'll go down there now and uh, using the screwdriver technique extract that coin. First thing I'll do is to probe until I feel the coin. Okay, it's an unmistakable feeling when you get the coin underneath of your probe. It feels like metal. You can't push through it. Slide the tip of your screwdriver until you come off of the edge, pull forward slightly, come back, go back to the opposite edge of the coin, push down slightly, lift up, and there we have actually a double target. We've got a quarter and a dime. And as you can see, there's no damage whatsoever to the sod here. No more than uh, a bird would make if he were trying to, you know, get an insect or a worm out of the ground. Much better than digging a big plug and causing damage to the sod, or even a dangerous situation for a kid on the soccer field who might step uh, into a hole left from a, a divot. Okay, my machine is telling me here that I've got uh, probably a dime, possibly a copper penny, judging by the numbers on my machine. So I'll go through the pinpoint routine. It's very important to understand that pinpointing with your coil as well as you can to start with makes it so much easier once you get down on your knees. Right away, I can feel that coin. You can even hear it when you tap on it. Slide forward, pull the grass away from it, the sod, get back on it, come back in behind it, get under it, pull it up, grab it with your fingers, and this is the dime. Now once again, there's Really no damage whatsoever to the sod there. My numbers are jumping uh, all around on this one anywhere from five to clear up to 48 is probably a pull tab but it could be a really corroded zinc penny. Now the target.
target is actually pulling on the screwdriver as I try to retrieve it from the ground. So in all likelihood we've got probably a piece of aluminum can that the probe has penetrated. So, But you can retrieve this in the same manner that you could a coin. You just have to make sure you get above it. Pull slightly in that direction. Make sure you can still feel the target. Sometimes it moves when you move the uh, the sod because it's uh, embedded in the sod and I'm not feeling it right now so I gotta keep probing until I find it. Oh look at that. Look at that. It was on my screwdriver. No wonder I couldn't find it. I'm going to put that tab in my pouch here and uh, throw it in the trash can later and of course that's another important thing for especially you newbies out there to uh, understand is you need to take your trash with you and throw it away. Okay we'll go with one more target here. My machine is telling me this is likely a dime or a copper penny. The numbers are almost identical for those. I'll pinpoint. Okay, there we go. That nice hard metal feeling and sound down there. You can actually hear the sound of the point of the screwdriver on the coin. And here we have a copper penny. So that's it for the demonstration on uh, digging shallow targets in an area where you don't want to mess up the sod. Uh, for you uh, old coin hunters, obviously this is not going to work. Uh, you don't want to be sticking a screwdriver down into the ground and damaging uh, and possibly uh, making almost useless and invaluable a coin that would have otherwise been very valuable. Probably going to have to dig a, co uh, dig a plug for coins like that and that's perfectly understandable but you need to reasonably suspect that the area that you're hunting in is going to have coins like that otherwise digging a plug is just not acceptable if I were to uh, find a five or six inch target out here in this soccer field it's a brand new field perhaps it was built on old ground and then a place where old houses were years ago but the likelihood of me finding an old coin or anything really old and deep out here is extremely unlikely. If I find a target that's that deep, this technique will not work. Your screw, you just can't get your screwdriver and your finger down into the hole far enough to pull the target up. But you can retrieve coins up to four inches deep, three and a half to four inches deep using this technique. Also, you need to master your detector in terms of pinpointing. And along the way, if you happen to have a good hand pinpointer to help you to start with, after you've gotten the area, generally speaking, where you think the coin is with your detector, you can one, use one of these to further narrow that down, then use your screwdriver to find the coin. I hope this has helped. Uh, and I hope some of you that are out there digging plugs in the, in the parks and places where you don't expect to find old stuff, uh, I, hope you, I hope you modify your techniques there a little bit. Thank you much. Good hunting.